Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Thursday, August 25th, 2022. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Recorded a beer cast with Catsup Brothers yesterday on the Wilma Lee at the Annapolis Maritime Museum. Got to sample some good stuff in several small sampling glasses, under a hot sun, on a boat. Let's just say that I am an official lightweight. All right, let's get into today's news, shall we? The Anne Arundel County Police are investigating a fatal pedestrian crash in Glen Burnie. Just before 7 p.m. last night, they were called to the 700 block of Aqua Heart Road, There were two pedestrians who had been struck by a vehicle and one was declared deceased at the scene. The other was taken to a trauma center for treatment. We are waiting on some official news from the police department as there are some conflicting reports as to whether this was a hit and run or if the car did remain at the scene. You want to please check back with ionanapolis.net a little bit later this morning and we will make sure to update that story. A quick follow up on that shooting in Annapolis on Tuesday. Nothing more really substantially to report, but we do now know that the teenager who was shot, he was shot in a lower extremity, also known as a leg, and is in stable condition. So that is some good news. We've also learned that Tiffany Schrone, an Anne Arundel County Sheriff's Office employee, has been charged with assault and credit card theft. The victim in this case is Sheriff's Deputy Matthew Beal. Now, Beal may sound familiar to you. He was suspended from his duties when he was charged with two separate assault charges after allegedly assaulting Tiffany Schroen. So this does appear to be a bit of a domestic issue spilling over into the sheriff's office. We have asked the sheriffs for a statement, but we haven't gotten anything back. We will try to sort this out with the sheriff's office a little bit later today and update you. Rachel Pachella at the Capitol has yet another disturbing article about the Anne Arundel County Public Schools. In yesterday's board meeting update, they are currently short 300 teachers, 67 bus drivers, 222 food service workers, 81 custodians, and 57 crossing guards. The school system serves 84,000 students from 125 schools, and school does start on Monday. One temporary solution that is being suggested is to take central and satellite office employees and place them in the classrooms. And I'll tell you, it looks like it's going to be a bumpy start to the school year this year. Hey, I really love this story. County Executive Pittman has given $500,000 grant to the YWCA for a residential facility for kids 13 to 18 years old that are victims of human trafficking. The 7,200-square-foot facility will have eight bedrooms and will have a 24-hour call center, case managers, residential advisors, and much more. And the 500 grand was supplemented by $1.3 million from the state. And this will be the only dedicated safe house in Maryland for trafficked minors. And here's a good news, bad news story for you. Traffic is going to be jacked up on Sunday in Annapolis. That's the bad news. The good news is that it's only going to be for a few hours. The annual Annapolis 10-mile run starts and ends at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium and gets underway at about 7 a.m. and should wrap up by about 9.30 a.m. You will see road closures near the stadium, Taylor, Rao, Cedar Park, and Farragut Roads, downtown at Northwest Church College, Main, Randall, and King George Streets, the Naval Academy Bridge, and Route 648 over there on the Broadneck Peninsula, which is BNA Boulevard near Pendennis Mount. So if you can, play it safe and just avoid the area. Remember, it all wraps up at about 9.30 a.m. on Sunday. Tickets are going fast for the 2022 iteration of Ignite Annapolis. The date is September 22nd from 6 to 9 p.m. at Maryland Hall. The concept is simple. Speakers will get five minutes to tell their story with 20 slides that they have designed. But the slides are pre-timed. They'll just keep going no matter where you're talking. Topics will run from the deep, how to prevent rape, to embracing change, how to attack depression with mushrooms, guaranteed to be a night that will start conversations and make you think. Tickets are only $10. They are going quick, and you can get them at IgniteAnnapolis.com. 
Hey, and if you're looking to pick up some tickets to the Maryland Seafood Festival at the end of September, when you go to check out, you want to make sure you use the code I. Five. That's the word I with the number five. And you can save 20% off of every general admission ticket. And thank you to ABC Events for throwing that code our way that we can pass on to you. And that's all I got news-wise. Podcast stuff up this weekend on the Local Business Spotlight, Scale Up Consulting Group, and next weekend it will be Evelyn's, one of my favorite places in West Annapolis to get brunch. Of course, tonight is the final Tides and Tunes at the Maritime Museum. Admission is free, but they do ask for a $10 suggested donation. Up tonight, Johnny Seaton and Bad Behavior. He's been rescheduled from August 4th. And then there is a bit of a break before they head to the other side of the creek for the September Sunset Concert Series starting on September 8th. That's over at the park half of the museum. All right, and that's a wrap. As always, thank you for being you, and a thank you to our sponsors for the Daily News Brief, Solar Energy Services, the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, A. Long and Foster Company, and Alpha Engineering. It is Thursday, so we have Trevor here from Annapolis Makerspace with your Maker Minutes, and George from DC MDVA Weather is here with your locally forecast weather. All that coming up in just a bit. So hang tight. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been and paid off for almost five years, and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DC MDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DC MDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DC MDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Thursday, August 25th. Yesterday played out pretty much as expected with tons of sun and fairly warm temps across the Annapolis region, and that'll be the theme today into early next week with an early outlook for a cool down coming sometime late next week. Look for sun today with highs 85 to 92 degrees with more of the same expected each day tomorrow into early next week with a small chance for some p.m. storms Friday and possibly Saturday as well as we move through the final week of meteorological summer, which will be a warm one. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates each day along with our website at dcmdvaweather.info. And definitely be sure to download our DC MDVA weather app on all of your devices from either the Apple or Google app stores so you can always stay weather informed. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. One of the biggest questions I'm getting asked right now, what is going on with the housing market? Well, when the interest rates jumped up two percentage points, mortgage payments went up 20% for the same home. This is starting to have an effect on the number of buyers we are seeing, with 10% fewer home sales than last spring. However, our inventory is 25% lower than the same time last year. What does all this mean? There are more home buyers than homes on the market, so prices are still increasing. Now more than ever, it's time to work with someone who can guide you with solid, proven advice. Wisdom, proactiveness, and intense marketing make a huge difference. Please give us a call today and let us help you navigate these waters. We promise to educate and guide you with your best interest at heart. That's another moving moment with Christy Neidhart of Northrop Realty, a Long and Foster company. To get in touch, call 410-599-1370 or visit kn-team.com. Every week, makers, crafters, and educators hold events all over the area. Highlighting some of those, here's our Maker Minutes, brought to you by Annapolis Makerspace. 
Hey, this is Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. Fair season is here again. The Maryland State Fair starts today and runs for about two weeks, and there's more county fairs coming up in coming weeks. At Kittens and Cups, Annapolis's own cat cafe, there's a few craft classes coming up. Saturday, check out their cross-stitch class with a good vibes pattern. And then on Sunday, they have clay painting with cat planters at Knits and Pieces off of Bestgate Road. On Tuesday, their sold-out Learn Another Weekender sweater continues. But registration is open for more classes coming up in September, October, November, and December with more general Learn to Knit classes classes, and more hats, sweaters, and socks. At Whole Foods in Annapolis, today their Half Pint Kids Club is doing monkey toast. Saturday, they're doing kids in the kitchen, showing kids how to make a meal using fresh ingredients from scratch. Then on Tuesday, their Half Pint Kids Club is doing cinnamon sugar pretzels. At Local by Design, Saturday and Sunday is their Annapolis Artisans Market, where you can check out their shop off at Chickapin Round Road, meet local artists, and find lots of great things to buy. At Art Farm in Annapolis, Sunday they're having a mandala workshop, as well as their Vibe Flow and Chill Yoga. Their summer semester is over, but registration is open for their fall semester, starting in mid to late September, with classes for kids such as Inspired by Nature Art, Embroidery, Found Object Sculptures, Writing Short Stories, Graphic Design, and lots more. At the Anne Arundel County Public Library this week, today the Bush Annapolis Library is doing an undersea craft, Linthicum is doing Build and Play with Lego, and Glen Burnie is doing Paper Flower Wreaths. Tomorrow, Rivera Beach is doing a Craftinoon and Games for Teens and Tweens. Saturday, Crofton has Ask a Master Gardener. On Monday, Brooklyn Park has Get Out There, Hiking and Camping 101. And the Bush Annapolis Library has Makerspace Open Hours. And on Wednesday, Bush Annapolis has more Makerspace Open Hours. At Unallocated Space in Severn, tonight they have a virtual happy hour. Tomorrow, they're having a hybrid, virtual, as well as in-person DC443 Hack the Box working group, honing cybersecurity skills in a fun and social environment. Monday is their project night. Tuesday, their electronics fundamentals continues. And then on Wednesday is their open house night. And at the Patuxent Lapidary Guild this week, Saturday, their Fast Setting 101 with Basic Rounds continues, learning how to cut a round gem. If you have any questions about the Annapolis Makerspace, the Maker Minutes, or any of these events, feel free to contact me at trevor at makeannapolis.org. And you can find links to all of these events at the Annapolis Makerspace website, also at makeannapolis.org. And whether you're making art, software, sawdust, or just a mess, chances are you're already a maker. This has been Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. The benefits of a good night's sleep are well documented. Sleeping well prevents weight gain, improves concentration and creativity, and boosts the immune system. So... What keeps you up at night? If you run a business, then the security of your computer network may be one of those things. Threats like ransomware and phishing are becoming increasingly sophisticated and pose a real risk to any business. Don't let these cyber threats keep you up at night. At Alpha, they've been helping their customers sleep better for over 30 years by monitoring in real time and hardening network defenses. And for those irritating IT issues that arise every day, Alpha's just a phone call away. Helping your business run smoothly and helping you sleep better knowing Alpha is on guard. Give Alpha a call to see if they can ease your worries and help you get the rest you deserve. Find them at alphagetsit.com. You've been listening to the Ion Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, IamAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at IamAnnapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.